Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plains. Well, today is September 16th. This is the deadline for the FAA's crazy rule for the remote ID. For our radio controlled airplanes, we're supposed to put this Bluetooth Wi-Fi module inside of our airplanes, so therefore they can be tracked. So other people can get on a an app called a Drone Zone, there's others and they can see where we're flying, how high we're flying, how fast, and they can see the starting point where we took off is where I will be standing or where you will be standing. So all this stuff can be tracked. They say mainly for the law enforcement. Well, today the 16th is the deadline that was set over almost two years back, I believe. And just recently, in the past couple weeks, we started seeing these modules for sale and it's really hard to get one. A few people do have them. A lot of people that sell them are on this major uh, back order and the AMA went to bat for us and worked out some kind of an agreement with the FAA where if we're not able to comply with the remote ID module they're not going to enforce it until March 16th, 2024. Now that means they're not going to enforce it. So technically today the rule has gone into effect. So we have to fly at a FRIA, which is an FAA recognized flying area. And at those places you don't have to have the module. If you're flying anywhere else, you're supposed to have this module. Well, the FAA says they're not gonna enforce it to the ones that were unable to comply. You know, and that's kind of a that's kind of a catch-22, you know. I'm personally not able to comply because I don't have my module. Or maybe you don't have your module. What if we're not flying at a Freya? You know, just, ah, it's just a bunch of crap and the, the majority of you guys and everybody else is they're not doing it, period. And uh, I kind of agree. I support Spectrum. I'm a big fanboy of Spectrum. If it wasn't for Spectrum and E-Flight, with Safe Select, I wouldn't be able to enjoy this hobby. So I'm a I'm a Spectrum guy all the way. Their remote ID module called Sky ID will give telemetry data back to our transmitters. If you have the proper transmitter, proper receiver, it's connected the proper way. There's a timer. There's airspeed. There's altitude. There's some other cool things that we get to see. So we're getting something out of the deal. If we just had to put the module on our plane and it just sent this signal up to the who knows who to track us, then that would suck to have to pay for this that we don't get anything from. But we're going to get some telemetry data back, so I'm okay with the uh, Spectrum Sky ID. You know, uh, I thought of one thing a long time ago. It seemed like the FAA gave some rebates to certain manned airplanes if they put a certain uh, you know tracking device in their plane I don't know the name of it but they gave them some kind of rebate they ought to give us some kind of rebate you know and then these little guys are about a hundred bucks all the way up to two or three hundred if you depending on what you get I see all kinds of GPS trackers for fifteen dollars you know uh, I'm not a big Apple person but they have the uh, uh, air tags those things like battery power they last for a couple months you know, if you're traveling, you put an air tag in your suitcase. That way, if your luggage got lost, you can track it on your phone. You know, that, that thing's like 10 bucks. <laughs> so, anyways, let's look at a couple things on the, uh, on the computer here. And then that's all I got for this one. So, man, the, the, the deadline's here, but it's not, but it is, but it's not. And uh, the majority uh, of the consensus is that they're not going to do it. So, all right, hey, take a look at this. All right, not going to bore you guys a whole lot, but just right here is the news. The FAA extends a wrote the remote ID enforcement date, six months. Extends the enforcement, okay? Drone pilots who are unable to comply with the broadcast requirements. Come on, Sean, read. Drone pilots who are unable to comply with the broadcast requirements of the remote ID rule will now have until March 16, 2024 to equip their aircraft. After that date, operators could face fines and suspension or revocations of pilot certificates. Blah, blah, blah. So 
you get this thing and you got to register it in this app called Drone Zone. Let's take a look at Drone Zone. So recreational drone pilots, uh, RC airplane pilots, uh, may register once and apply their registration number to all their devices listed within their inventory down here to Drone Zone, the FAA Drone Zone. All right, well, here's the FAA Drone Zone. I went ahead and logged in, and there's a little bit of stuff here, recreational flyers, certificate, public safety. Learn the rule, become an FAA certified remote pilot, remote or recreational flyer, learn the rules, take trust, have questions, download the Before You Fly mobile app. <laughs> That's another thing. You're supposed to plan your flight before you go. Yeah, there's a bunch of, bunch of crazy stuff here. But once you get your remote ID module, you have to create an account to the FAA drone zone and then register your your remote ID module right here. Drone events, what's that? Let's see what drone events is, huh? Well, I guess there's some cool stuff here, but I don't see any airplanes. Hmm. Well, here's our Spectrum Sky ID module. Once I get it, I'm gonna do detailed videos on how you can connect it to your plane, no matter what receiver you have. I'll do a video on each and every individual set up inside many different uh, airplanes and for those of you that have the correct transmitter and receiver where we can get the telemetry data back on the transmitter i'll do step-by-step -step videos for as much for every transmitter that i got that you most likely have so you can see that uh, data too we might have to do some updates we might have to plug the sky id into our receivers uh, you know a different way i'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that uh, everybody can utilize it and get the most out of it and that's a and that's a fact so all right guys hey thank you i appreciate it and uh happy flying until next time you'll see me here right there